Good evening, my fellow friends and YouTubers. This is Kurt, and welcome back to the Kurt's Place channel here on YouTube. Well, guys, we're back here at Spinners Arcade in Frederick, Maryland for another video game video for you. Now, this time I'm going to be showing you some Missile Command. Lester's actually going to be playing some Missile Command here for you here at Spinners Arcade. Now, I also want to mention, too, uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button. If you like what you see, don't forget to smash that like button as well. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section down below. And I also want to mention, while you're watching a video, in the top right-hand corner of the screen, there's a little icon. If you click on that little icon, that's going to open up links to other videos I have, such as videos, you know, other games of Spinner's Arcade Edition, other videos I have on my channel, too. So if you want to watch one of those, just click on the link, and it will take you right to the video. All right, let me go and start off by showing the control panel, then we'll actually show you some gameplay here on Missile Command at Spinner's Arcade here in Frederick, Maryland. And as always, thanks again for watching. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so here we are. So here's Missile Command. Now, this is another classic game they have here at Spinner's Arcade. Uh, Missile Command is one of those games that's really great. Missile Command was made in 1980 by Atari. Uh, very, very cool game. And you're going to see this one's pretty legit, the one that they have here. Now, it's got the uh, full-size trackball and everything on it, too. And it's got the missile bases and everything, too. Now, this machine's actually in pretty good shape. Now, and, and uh, also, if you look down below, too, you're going to see that, that uh, trim and everything's pretty nice on too. Very, very nice machine. So let's just kind of go and do some gameplay here on, on, on the Missile Command Force. And one important thing to note too is the trackball control and everything on this machine does work really, really well on this machine too as well. Has one of the largest trackballs I've ever seen in any of the machines. All right, so let's just kind of go and begin some gameplay here on uh, Missile Command. All right, do your And as you can see, compared to most home ports, you only have you got three missile bases you got to defend in the arcade version or in the home ports you only have one to worry about defending so that's a little bit more of an element of challenge to it but of course it starts off very easy and obviously you get points for whatever missiles you don't use in the cities you saved and of course the other thing with the arcade port and the uh, Atari 5200 port is you also have bombers in satellites come at you as well. All right. And one thing too with Missile Command too when you're playing is uh, missile management is very important on Missile Command. Especially, you know, which uh, we want to have the shortest distance possible between the missile and you and your base. And that's one of the things too. That's where the missile management, you know, which base you use is really important. Especially in some of the higher levels too. Thank you. Missile Command is another one of those games that has always been, Lester and I have always enjoyed playing that. And that's one thing really nice about Sprinters Arcade here. They have a lot of classics. They do have some newer games too. They also have a lot of classics like this one. It holds up very well, even in today's environment. This machine holds up very well in the game series. Well. As you can see, the further up you go in levels, the harder it gets. Obviously, each level, each set of levels, you get up to get together a uh, multiplier point. And you're going to notice that the bonus of things for your cities and everything down here increases as well, you know, and that's the thing too. The more cities you can protect, the better off you're on each level. And you can see the how Lester took out two things at once there. Really, really cool stuff. And I love all the, all the spaceships and things that come across here too. Really, really cool stuff too. And of course, every 10,000 points missed, you get that bonus city, which definitely comes in handy in higher levels. Gonna, see, as you get to the different levels, the color of the screen changes too, depending on the level you're on too, which is always a really nice, really cool thing about missile command too. Hold that one out. 
now you're gonna see the screen change completely there, but it's a level one now. Really, really cool stuff. Ooh, and I am toast. So there you go, guys. So there's missile command. Now I want to mention too, by the way, uh, I want to thank you once again, Lester, for, help, for helping me make the video by playing for me. And also, I want to mention to you too, guys, that uh, if you want to help show your support for the Kurtz Place channel, I do a merchandise available on the Kurtz Place channel store. Link to the Kurtz Place channel store down below. Get me some of hats, and keychains. And also, guys, I want to mention, by the way, too, now remember now, on Sundays, every Sunday, I try to have videos between 12 and 2, every Sunday at 12 to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, when my time allows, on the channel as well. And generally, I'll let you know the night before when we're going to have one of those as well. All right, guys, as always, thanks again for watching. Hope you all have a great day, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye, guys. See you next time. Thanks again, Lester. Don't All right, guys, catch you on the next video.